Water Hammer we've talked about quite a bit today, but uh, you know, uh, this is what this is what you have just graphically shown. You got you got water laying in a pipe when it shouldn't be, and you've got steam moving across the top at gale force winds, and it's going to pick up that water, and a slug's going to form, and that slug's going to get propelled down the end of the main where it's going to hit something or make a turn, and it's going to hit it with enough violence that it can actually rip the pipe right out of the fitting, and that happens. So we want to avoid water hammer. We also want to avoid ha water hammer by not being knuckleheads. Uh, for instance, this this fellow. A pipe this one pipe steam radiator with this in it figuring that water will somehow be able to climb back over this hump and drain down the pipe so I hope you're laughing right now I can't see your face but I'm imagining you're laughing I like that let's laugh some more uh, this is a one pipe steam radiator we've got the inlet in the top there's a, a vent down under here and uh, we expect condensate now to climb back out of the radiator and down the pipe looks good though doesn't it and he put a drip pan in there to uh, to collect the condensate and there is the shoe of the person that did this so uh, way to go way to go final fella now this this was on a job in Brooklyn this is a steam job with tremendous water hammer but the contractor decided that he was going to screw an extra tank that you would use on a hot water heating system as its, as its compression tank into the side of the steam riser going up to the header uh, figuring it would act as some kind of a, a plumber's uh, shock absorber so that didn't work either but uh, Way to go. Uh, this is, you know, I have to show you this because you wouldn't believe this unless I, if I just told you about it. They add an addition to the back of a house on Long Island. And they, they build out over the back stoop and they, they put in this uh, crawl space and they add a steam radiator because it's a steam heated building, this house. And they, they run the main out through the, uh, an uninsulated main out through the cold crawl space and the air vent, of course, begins to squirt water all over the ceiling when they start it up. So the plumber comes back and he solves this by doing this. He, uh, he installs a, a pop bottle over the air vent. The air vent's inside there. And then we're going to drill a hole in the floor. We're going to go down to the crawl space with this garden hose. So let's go in the crawl space. Okay, here, the radiator's over here, back here. You can't see it, but, it's, but here comes the hose. And we're going to secure it in place with a piece of lumber and some twine. So this is going across the uninsulated crawl space, and it's going to go the other way. So let's turn around and face the opposite direction. Here we go. Okay, here it comes. This is the old back stoop, which is now under the crawl space. And we're going to drill a hole through the concrete. There's a drill right there. And it's going to go down into the basement. So now let's go down the basement and see where it goes from there. Okay, here's, here's the other side of the stoop. There's the hole where it came through. And it's just uh, right into the slop sink. And we don't want to waste any of that good Sears hose. So we just leave it all bundled up there. And there you go. So uh, when uh, when your only tool is a hammer, every problem looks like a nail. So there you go. That's that's your competition. Also your competition. This was posted on the website by a, by a contractor who said he walked out and uh, he, he saw this house that had a steam main vent stick, sticking out of the side of the house doing that in the winter. And he knocked on the fellow's door and he said, you know, there's steam coming out of that vent that's supposed to be inside the house. And the guy says, oh, yeah, it does that all the time. So thanks. There you go.